It's so hard to say goodbye to summer. Y'all, we're here. We are here. It is almost the end of summer, and this is my August favorites. Y'all, this is a bittersweet moment. It's so bittersweet because I do love fall. I love fall. I love the holidays. But I just been living my best life in the summer. Like I'm outside, I'm on the lake, I'm on the boat. I'm just chilling and having such a good time that I'm not ready for it to come to an end. And no, I do not want to leave New Jersey, okay? <laughs> Cause I know that's gonna be the obvious thing to say. Well, if you want summer all year long, come to XYZ or whatever. I want summer here in New Jersey, okay? <laughs> So if you guys wanna see my August favorites and all the things I've been loving and obsessing over in the month of August, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, guys, let's go. So one of my favorite snacks to eat are nuts. I love chewing on nuts. Hold, hold up, let me, I'm just gonna bring that one right back. We are gonna come back to that one, okay? So as I was saying, I love pistachios and I used to eat them with the, you know, the shells on them and have to crack them and it was just such an annoyance to me. But I do love pistachios. So now I no longer buy the pistachios in the shells. I just buy the pre-shelled or de-shelled pistachios. But I want to show you these pistachios. They're the wonderful brand. They have a sea salt and vinegar. They have a barbecue flavor. They have a chili flavored. They have a honey, roasted honey. Is it honey mustard? Not honey mustard. A honey roasted one. Y'all, they are so good. Like I find myself just eating bags of these at a time. Like I keep them in my car. I eat them when we're watching like our movie nights. Like this is my movie snack because I don't eat popcorn. Um, it's just a vibe. I just love them. They're such like a simple thing. Like it's pistachios. Like if you love nuts and you don't have a nut allergy, then check these out. I'm gonna leave them linked below, but you can get these at Bath and Body Works. Um, not Bath and Body Works, y'all. Listen, the Bath and Body Works, Bed Bath and Beyond, and Body Shop, it is literally sending me over the edge. <laughs> but Bed Bath and Beyond, um, I think you can get them at Target and Walmart as well. Y'all, the wonderful brand, they are so good. Like I said, check out the different flavors. You will be hooked. Trust me, y'all gonna be chewing on nuts too. Okay, so beauty. I don't have that much stuff in the beauty category, but let's start with the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. Y'all, if you have dry skin or drier skin, normal to dry skin, you need this serum. Shake it up. You're gonna see the oil like floating around in there like when it settles, but just shake it up, dab it in your hand, rub your fingers together, rub it all over your skin. It literally penetrates into your skin. Honestly, with this serum, it's so moisturizing, you don't even need a moisturizer. And I'm not saying don't moisturize your skin because I absolutely do like three or four steps after my serum, but I'm just saying that that's how moisturizing and hydrating it is for your skin. So if you have dry skin, your skin will love this. It drinks this up like literal water. Look at my dent. You guys know that I recently hauled this Maybe like a couple of weeks ago, I think, or three weeks ago, or definitely, I'm not sure when I hauled it. But as soon as I hauled it that night, I busted open and I've been using it and I have been obsessed with it. A little bit goes a long way, so you don't need a lot. But like I said, if you have dry skin or normal to dry your skin, your skin will drink this up like water. You need this. Another one of my favorites, I'm wearing it right now. And it's this lipstick by Urban Decay. You guys know that I hauled this too. Was it in the same haul as this? I'm not sure. I'm like drawing a blank. But anyway, I hauled this recently and I told you guys I hated the bottle, but I was excited to see what the formulation was gonna give. Y'all, when I tell you, this lipstick is not drying. It does not go anywhere on your lips. It's transfer proof. It feels so comfortable. After a while, you forget that you're wearing it. That's how comfortable it is on your lips. It's transfer proof. You can drink out of glasses and white cups and this, that, the third, and you will not leave any transfer on your cup or glass. This is so good, y'all. This color is like one of my favorite um, lippy colors. It's like a purple color. 
I have a bunch of these colors in different brands, but honestly, I have to say, in terms of a liquid lipstick so far, this right here is winning number one. And you guys know I love my Sephora brand um, liquid lipsticks. I put a lot of you guys onto that lipstick and I love them. I will always have them, but they do get a little bit drying after a while. I've had this on for like eight to nine hours and it did not budge. It did not move. We were eating and drinking and living our best lives and the lipstick was sitting there chilling like, what's up? I'm still here. Initially, the packaging was bothering me, but honestly, I feel like I like it now. Like, it's kind of cute. Like, it's kind of a vibe. I'm not mad at it. You know what I mean? But I love the formulation. Let me see if I can see what color this is. This is No Restraints. Yes. I love this color, y'all. This is what the applicator looks like. It's like a doe foot applicator. As you can see, very thin. Honestly, I don't even need to reapply because it literally lasts forever. You put this on at the beginning of the day or the beginning of your evening or your night and you don't have to worry about it. I'm telling you guys, this is a really, really good formulation. I'm actually really shocked. Like I'm seriously really shocked because so many companies come out with different lipsticks and they claim to do this, that, the third, and it's still drying. Your lips are still cracking. <laughs> so another thing I wanna show you, is actually for the lips again, it's the Fenty Skin Lip Oil. And this is a cherry scented. It's not a heavy cherry scented um, product. I thought it was gonna be like super sweet, like, you know, smelling like cherries, like really strong, like, um, like chapstick cherry or something like that. It's not that strong. You do smell the cherry very faintly. So if you're someone that doesn't like scents in your facial or skincare products or whatever, you'll still be able to wear this. But it does smell like cherry a little faint. Let me tell y'all something. This is running neck and neck with the Dior lip oil. I wanna say, let me go out on a limb and say, this actually is better than the Dior lip oil because this lasts longer. The sheen of the Dior lip oil for the first two or three hours, you're gonna get like a really bright, my lip gloss is popping, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, type shine. But with this one, you get the shine the whole entire time. The whole entire time your lips shine. After about six or seven hours, it feels a little, how can I say? I'm eating, um pistachios i bust this open in the middle of one of the takes y'all because i'm like i'm addicted to them um it leaves a little like your mouth gets like a little maybe like a stickiness it could just be me because i noticed that a lot of lip glosses especially like a mac um lip glass it would do that like after wearing it for like six or seven hours it would feel like a little i'd have to take a napkin and dab it do you know what i mean because it would just have that disgusting looking i i don't know what it is but if you guys like we're here if you know you know so just be sure to touch it up after a few hours but the shine is there the whole time your lip gloss is definitely popping with the fancy lip oil trust me when i tell y'all another thing i want to show you is the laura mercier what is this called it's the translucent loose ultra blur setting powder i love laura mercier setting powders i have a backup of the regular one so when this came out i was like you know let me try it i hauled it used it and y'all when i tell you it's so super fine it's so easier to apply you don't have to work it in as much as the other one you know the original one and this is a translucent color i think they have about two or three other shades i tried a honey shade before in the normal translucent powder but it just wasn't, it wasn't working out for me. So I just used translucent. There's no flashback. Oh, and that's another thing with this one. It's supposed to be no flashback. Um, you know, like if you take a photo with flash, you're not gonna look like Casper under your eyes. Like, So it actually does a really good job and I can actually say that it really works and I love it. So the last beauty item that I wanna show you guys is a primer and it's by my good girlfriend, Tatcha. So I hauled this as well recently. I feel like everything that I've been loving has recently been in my haul. So y'all, when I tell you, a little bit of this goes so long. The first time like I used it, I didn't realize how thick and heavy it was gonna be. You can't see it. And I digged my finger in there and I was like, wait, what the hell? It almost feels like, kind of like waxy. Like it almost feels like a waxy, soft, consistency it's something very very different about this i've never had 
a primer like this before and I absolutely love it. Let me tell you something. I love a product that as soon as you put it on or spray it on or use it or whatever, you see the results instantly. I used to use my um Smashbox primer and it was cool, but I never really understood the hype, but I still always bought it because I'm like, well, it must be doing something. Like it must be holding my makeup in place. It must be making my skin look flawless. But honestly, guys, when I use this, I was like, wow. This is what a primer is supposed to do to your skin. Like this is what you're supposed to look like. After using this primer, I realized I would never go back to another primer like ever again. <laughs> so that's all for beauty. Let's go to body care. So the first thing I wanna show you is this body wash by Olay. It's the Moisture Ribbons Plus, and this is the Shea and Manuka Honey Scent. Y'all, this right here, First of all, if you don't feel like scrubbing your skin or doing anything harsh to your skin, but you still want your skin to feel soft in the shower, you need this, okay? I'm telling you guys, the moisture ribbons is it. And the scent, first of all, I have the jasmine one and I was gonna buy the lavender, but I really don't like lavender scents like that. But there's a pink one that I wanna get. It's pink and white, it's so pretty. But y'all, this Manuka honey scent, and I'm gonna just show you the other favorite as well. So I did a shower routine with honey, and it was this, this Kiehl's Creme de Corps Nourishing Body Oil, and the Kiehl's Creme de Corps Soy Milk and Honey Whipped Body Butter. Y'all, I'm gonna have to put this down because we're gonna have to give her a little bit more shine. Because that right there, listen. So you guys know I love this Kiehl's oil. Here's my dent from the side, as you can see. I have a few oils with sprays, like spray um, nozzles, but let me tell y'all, the Kiehl's nozzle, it never gets stuck. It always gives you a nice, smooth spray. You don't have to worry about it squirting out. Like I have my Aveeno one. I've been using that one for years and I do love it, but the squirter sometimes, it's just not good. Like at the nozzle right here, you have to really be careful with some of these oils that have, um, you know, like spray atomizers, but this one is perfect each and every time, I'm telling you. And this leaves you nice and moisturized and hydrated. This is a dry body oil, but y'all, this is a dry oil that actually leaves you looking shiny. <laughs> but you don't feel sticky, but you just have a nice shiny glow to you, and I love that. That's why I was thinking like the Delina body oil, the scent is very um, weak in my opinion, very weak, and like you don't even get a sheen. It just literally like disappears into your skin. This will stay shiny on my skin for hours. I'm telling you guys, and it does not feel greasy. I absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. So that's the Kiehl's um, Creme de Corpse Oil. Now, the body butter. Y'all, this body butter right here. I'm gonna put the body butter over. <laughs> Y'all, this body butter, when I tell you, it's so luxurious feeling. It just feels so beautiful when you rub it onto your skin and it melts right into your skin with cream or without cream. I'm telling you, Kills just know, oh my, y'all, the scent, y'all, if you like the scent of honey and like shea butter, OMG, this smells so good. It's not super overpowering either like you compare this with whatever fragrance you want to wear but if you love the scent of honey and shea it just smells so good it's so moisturizing i love the consistency let me show you the texture of it it's really like how can I, it's whipped but it's not it's almost like um like a whipped cream frosting type consistency i love it look at me like i just love it it feels so good on my skin and layered with the oil Y'all, this smells so good. I feel like this can be worn in the winter, spring, summer, and fall, like I said, because you can pair it with many of your fragrances. Honey fragrances, uh, nutty fragrances, almond fragrances, it just works. And just to keep you moisturized, this is a really good um, product. And it's not that pricey. I wanna say this retails for like $40 or $45. Or, you know, it's not like $100 or anything like that. So yeah, so the Olay Moisture Ribbon, the Kiehl's Chef's Kiss. Now, another body lotion that I wanna share with you guys is by Hemp's. It's the Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. If you love pineapple scents, go ahead and get this, okay? 
If you love the scent of a sweet, juicy pineapple, you need this to layer with your pineapple scents or even with your citrus scents. Or if you wanna make like a tropical concoction and do like a pineapple and coconut, smell like a pina colada, you need this. I'm telling you guys, this is such a beautiful, strong, highly scented um, moisturizer. It is kind of moisturizing. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't use it without oil. You guys know I always use oils. Um, and if I don't use an oil, I'm not gonna just use a moisturizer like this with no oil. I'm gonna use something heavier, thicker, maybe like um, the Kiehl's Creme de Corpse or my Fenty Butter Drop, like, you know, something like that. This I'm definitely gonna use with an oil, but I'm using this mainly for the scent. This smells so incredible and the scent lingers on your skin for hours. Layer this with your pina colada fragrances or pineapple or fruity, whatever. I'm telling y'all, get your life. I told y'all before, did y'all get this? I'm telling y'all, you will not regret it if you love the scent of sweet pineapples. So the last body care products I wanna share with you guys are from Skin Potions. <sighs> Ray. So Ray from Skin Potions sent me a nice package of vetiver scents and some other things in the box. But y'all, the VIP stand out. I need like a lifetime supply of this is the Kama Sutra body scrub, which was in here. <laughs> this is done because I completely, y'all, when I tell you, it's the most indulging, luxurious experience in the shower using this Kama Sutra uh, body scrub. Y'all don't even understand. And the Kama Sutra Radiance Body Cream. Y'all, this smells so freaking amazing he did tell me what the notes were there was mango in here there's oud in here there's i think he said guava or papaya i'm not sure i'm gonna leave it in the description box but y'all when i tell you this body cream goes with so many fragrances it doesn't necessarily have to have the same notes like i wore this with fragrances that didn't have a mango note like i wore this with dolce gabbana the only one None of the, I don't think it has any of the notes in here, but it just goes well with so many fragrances. Y'all, this smells so good. And the body scrub. What was, what was in here was a body scrub. But I can still, I can still smell it. Y'all, this, it almost smells like, like baby powder a little bit. Sweet baby powder. If you love powdery scents, I feel like you'll love this. It's like powdery and fruity and woody y'all this is freaking amazing i told ray like i need everything to smell like this like no joke everything needs to smell like this kama sutra and also the um royal sandalwood that he has chef's kiss i haven't gotten into the vetiver one yet but you know we're gonna get there you know one one scrub at a time honey <laughs> So let me just share with you the fragrances that I've been loving in the month of August. Dolce Gabbana, the only one. I wore this to bed, y'all. This is caramel. This is coffee. Like, this right here is a must. I feel like, I'm not even going to say I feel like. I know for sure that I love this more than the original one. And I have the original and I love it. Dolce Gabbana, the only one in tint. No, this is the original. But I have the intense version. But I'm saying original because I got that one first. Because initially when I smelled this, I was like, you know, like I didn't get it. But I smelled it in July, like in the summertime. So that's the thing with me. Like I have to smell fragrances in their season. Because if it's out of season, I'm just going to like not even care for it. I do love the only one in 10. She is a beautiful fragrance. But it's something very addictive about this one. I think it's the caramel, the coffee. Any fragrance that has like a gourmand touch, like this one right here, like I'm all in. This is a fall scent, but I was getting my life with her this summer. Another one of my favorite fragrances this summer was Idol, as you can see by Lancome. Y'all, this is so juicy. It's so juicy, so rosy. It's so strong. Like this is a very strong, intense fragrance. Just smelling it, I'm like, whoa, like this is like hitting me in the face. Let me tell you. So I've been layering this fragrance with Cabiria by Tiziana Terenzi. Y'all, they smell very similar in that 
They smell like rosy, pear, succulent, and juicy. This right here has made me fall back in love with my Lancome. I never felt out of love with this fragrance, but I just wasn't wearing her that much because I mean, I have so many others that I was putting in front of her. But this is a very sweet, juicy, feminine, playful fragrance that's perfect for the spring and summer. This right here kind of smells like it, but it's more woody, more deep, more sexy. But layered together, it's the perfect combination. Let me tell you something. You don't have to layer this. This is a beast. It's perfect on its own. It's a beautiful scent, y'all. I'm telling you. I just layered it because I just wanted to add a little bit more of that sweet, juicy freshness of Idol. But this is sweet, like super sweet. But this just adds a little bit more freshness to it. And I was loving. You can purchase this from SoAvantGarde.com if it's in stock using my discount code, thegreat 20 I feel like this is a safe flying by. It doesn't have that musky, ambery, Tiziana Terenzi dry down that a lot of you guys don't like. This smells beautiful. If you love Edol, go on ahead and just get this, okay? Or go to the store, Macy's, wherever, and smell Lancome's Edol. And if you feel like you love it, then order this because this lasts forever. This is a beast. It's deeper. It's sexier. It smells richer. I'm telling y'all. So another fragrance is by Tiziana Terenzi again. And this is Rosso Pompe. Y'all, this is a floral, like a white floral woody fragrance. It opens up very citrusy. There's white florals. There's jasmine in here. There's tuberose in here. There's sandalwood. There's cedarwood another freaking amazing fragrance. I can't help but to spray these fragrances. Y'all, this smells so good. This should be in stock. I think this is in stock because they can't really keep this one in stock. And I think this one is limited edition, but they're always producing this one. Y'all, this is so freaking pretty. If you love white florals with a citrus opening, woody dry down, you need this. Like I said, Rosso Pompe. And Tiziana Terenzi herself, is also the nose behind this fragrance. It's usually just Paolo, her brother, but she actually stepped in and was like, I'm, I want a part of this one right here. And y'all, I don't know what she did, but this fragrance right here is beautiful. Another one you can save 20% on love. Now, y'all, I don't care. Marc Jacobs, Daisy, ever so fresh. Yes, I have been loving her in August okay look at my little bottle you guys know when I haul this fragrance as well and look at this look at this dent like why why but I did tell you guys I'm gonna finish this off for the rest of the summer so by the end of September this is gonna be done this is another sweet beautiful juicy fragrance y'all if you love mango if you love pineapple you love fruity notes you need this and I don't think is mango in here? I'm not sure mango's in here. It's definitely pineapple and sweet citruses. Now, the reason why I said mango, I got confused, is because this fragrance, Dolce Gabbana Shine, I've been loving this fragrance as well, and I've been pairing them together. This fragrance right here is beautiful for layering, y'all, because it's very sweet. It has a sweet pineapple and a sweet, fresh kind of tangy citrus opening in the beginning. It smells beautiful on its own. Like, trust me, you can wear it on its own. But when you layer it with other fragrances, it just adds more depth. And I absolutely love it. So I've been loving it with Pineapple by Dolce & Gabbana and also with Shine by Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, it's the it's the whole Dolce & Gabbana party. Um, But this is a mango fragrance. It has some fruity notes and some floral notes as well. I wear my... um garden more my dolce garden more but i decided to pick this one up because it is a beautiful scent and i did put a little dent in it and i'm very satisfied because i hate when i have so many fragrances and one or two have like a huge dent because i keep reaching for it so i just have to give everybody a fair chance so everybody can get a little dent okay <laughs> So another fragrance I've been loving, it's actually a fragrance combination. I told you, I don't know who I am, okay? So I've been pairing Sole Blanc by Tom Ford with Casilli by Parfums de Marly. Y'all, this is a tropical treat, a tropical just explosion of beautiful scents. These two right here, the bee's knees. Y'all, let me tell you. 
beautiful on their own. You guys know I love Soleil Blanc. I have a memory with Soleil Blanc. This is my Seychelles Trip Fragrance. This is Cassilli, one of the underdogs from Parfums and Marley, but so sweet, so beautiful, so creamy. She smells like, like a sherbet. She looks like how she smells, like a sherbet. Like you just need like some vanilla ice cream to go along with her. But she smells like she has vanilla ice cream in her. This is so creamy and so beautiful. But let me tell y'all, paired together, it's something about the coconut and the plum and the frangipani, the citruses that come together and create a beautiful, beautiful tropical delight. If you like smelling tropical, I love smelling tropical, I'm sorry. Then you'll love this combination. And layer it with your hemp's pineapple. I'm trying to figure out who gonna be smelling better than you. I'm, I'm tr really trying to think about that. And I can't find the person. Another fragrance that I have been loving is by Nishane and it's 100 Silent Ways. Now, I recently started reaching for this a whole lot more. I wear this fragrance. I love it and I wear it, but I haven't worn it a lot in this season because I've been reaching for Ani so much. But something told me, don't reach for Ani. I was actually reaching for Ani and something said, pull out 100 Silent Ways. Wear her today. Like you haven't given her any burn for this summer. I pulled her out, y'all. And I've been wearing her nonstop. <laughs> Y'all, this fragrance smells so beautiful. Now, if there's a controversy saying that it smells like black opium. Let me tell you something. I do have black opium. <sighs> Listen. Black opium weir? Weir. On initial scent, okay? Because I'm not going to play my girl out. Because black opium, me and her are ride or die. Okay, that's my girl. On initial scent, it kind of does give you the remnants of something that you smell before and you'll probably think black opium. But y'all, this has no strong coffee note. This has tuberose. This has a peach note. This is so beautiful, y'all. I'm telling you, 100 Silent Ways by Nishane. Do not sleep on this beautiful floral fragrance. And you can save 20% using my discount code, thegreat20 on soavantgarde.com. Now, the last fragrance that was my favorites in the month of August. <sighs> the good girl, Haley. Y'all, Haley is just everything. If y'all purchased Haley at my last sale and you love her, please, or you hate her, like whatever. But if you purchased her off my recommendation, please leave it in the comments below and let me know what do you think about her? Because I could not wait to hear you guys' response to this fragrance. Because to me, this is a masterpiece. Like, this fragrance is so beautiful. It has, let me tell you something. It smells like a Tiziana Terenzi fragrance to me. But it doesn't have that strong DNA. But you can still tell it's a Tiziana Terenzi fragrance. But it's more feminine. It's more light. But she's still a beast. It almost has like a gourmand type dry down to it, although it's a fruity fragrance, fruity floral fragrance. This is beautiful. This is a gem. This has to be one of my favorite Tiziana Terenzi fragrances now. I'm looking at them because I don't want them to fall down, honey. But Haley is so beautiful. I feel like this is a special occasion type of scent. It's a date night type of scent. Or in the day, if you just want to feel like that girl you want to smell like that girl you want to smell better than everybody then you'll be wearing Haley, and i absolutely love her you can also save 20 percent using my discount code the great 20 on so avantgarde.com now the last things that i want to show you are from victoria's secret that has been my favorite i've been going to victoria's secret so much that they've been giving me these 20 dollars off cards 20 dollars off a 50 dollars purchase so i have one two, three, four. So I'm not gonna be able to use it until September 8th through the 21st. But y'all, I'm gonna be going back, okay? Because the holidays are coming up and I need my holiday PJs. Now, this right here, this robe and this print has had me in a damn chokehold. Y'all, how pretty is this robe? This is so gorgeous to me. It has like lace, um, what do you call it? Inlet, inlet, I'm not sure what you call it. But it has like a lace detailing. Look at that. How pretty is this? Can you see that? 
it has a nice lace detailing it's like um it's short it's not long look at this color it's just giving tropical vacation nights like i just love this it has some of my favorite colors in it pink cobalt blue and green like y'all this has me written all over it so this print the robe is beautiful it's like a um what material is this um it's like a sateen or satin but it's not the thin kind because i do have a couple of victoria's secret robes that's that light satin material i don't like that this is very heavy not heavy like it's gonna keep you warm but just heavy and substantial it doesn't feel cheap love this so i love this so much that i had to get the dress let me tell y'all something one thing about me i'm gonna be cute in the house okay i'm gonna be cute in the house and i'm gonna be cute going to bed smelling good and looking good at the same damn time so i just got this to wear to bed this is so cute it has like um it's like crisscross in the back the back is it's a dress like a night like a sleeping like a teddy um the back is lace and the front is lace as well but it's this print look at the print y'all it's so cute on this little dress love love this so yes yeah, so i loved it even more <laughs> so i got this this is like the silk not the silk the satin um pajamas but i got the this is the top and then i have the shorts to go with it it's a set but how cute is this? How free y'all, how cute is this? Like, how cute is this? This is so freaking cute. I love it. This print is so pretty. Like I said, it's like giving like tropical nights in Bali. Like, I love it. So I got that, right? But y'all, I love that print so much that I saw it in this color. Look at this colorway. Hold up, let me fix my my hanger so they have it in this like pink background i mean y'all know this is so super cute look at this and you can actually see the um the lace better in this color y'all i'm literally obsessed this is so freaking pretty it's just giving me i'm away on vacation in the house you know what I mean? Like it's giving, I'm drinking tea out of my Tiffany cup and feeling so feminine. It's giving, I'm sitting at my vanity, doing my makeup and just getting my life, listening to Beyonce and I'm getting ready to go on a date night with my honey. I just love it. It's so pretty y'all. It's so, so pretty. There's a little yellow in it as well. Ugh. All right. So loved it so much again that I... Wait, where's the other? Okay, yeah. So love this so much that I got the dress again in this print because I mean, how could I not? Like it's so super cute. And yeah, I got stuff all over the place. <laughs> like it's stuff everywhere. So I got these little shorts in this print. I mean, how cute is that? How cute is that with this matching top? So this is date night in the house. Look at the back. So cute. I love it, y'all. Victoria's Secret has had me in a chokehold in August because I kept going back. Like, do I want that? No, I don't need that. Girl, you got too much stuff already. What's going on with my top? It's actually not a top. It's my um Hermes scarf that I tied as a um tube top hold not halter like a tube top strapless whatever so i did get some other prints i got this one as well super cute y'all this is so cute i just love this deep like magenta color with the polka dots and then this is the top look at this I just love stuff like this. Like when I'm showered and do my self-care routine in the evening or the night and we're having a nice movie night and we're home and we're just chilling, I wanna come downstairs slaying, period, okay? Slaying in the scent, slaying in a cute little, you know, 
night outfit like it's just so cute so these are my favorites for the month of august y'all i will link everything below if i can link them they will be linked remember that if you're interested in any of the tiziana terenzi fragrances or the Casilli, you can save 20 percent using my discount code the great 20 and also skin potions i think you guys are able to get i think he said a 10 percent discount so i'm going to leave all the information in the description box below and let's talk about you guys' favorites are you excited for fall because i know y'all are okay like y'all the one that made summer in so quickly this year but anyway remember y'all to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you on my next video peace